Hello and welcome to another game uh, from the new patch uh, of uh, Dawn of War 3. This game is between Bike Crush, who were uh, playing Marines after the uh, the nerfs that have gone on to Eldar, and Trojan, who is down here in the bottom as the Orcs. Using the Commando, interestingly. Um, Stormboy's Commando Mega Nobs. Interesting to see this. I haven't uh, seen anyone else use Commando, but... Fair enough, and uh, now that um, you don't take the uh, the Venerable Dreadnought for the Assault Marines jump, even though it has been buffed, Bycrush is choosing to use Imperial Knight Solaria. Now, this is a choice that I've seen a couple of players make, and I think it is probably the right choice. With the way that uh, Marines play right now, uh, your early game isn't so sort of... It can get a lot more blocky when you've just got big amounts of uh, of plasma cannons firing, so you can get to the late game easier. And the fact, that especially now that these points, uh, the uh, elite generator points, are much more viable to take now with the increased requisition, um, I think taking this this late game hero makes a lot of sense. And uh, I have started doing it recently. Um, not that I am the person you should you should follow as as I am doing awfully uh, after this patch. So boys actually getting on the marines here. The marines have been uh, buffed in melee, which was a, in, an interesting change. Which means they are almost as good as boys in melee, although they would obviously prefer to be shooting. We have a drop of uh, marines up here. We have two squads of marines uh, surrounding this boy, and so these boys are going to go down. These boys are going to go down, but it looks like they will get uh, a generator or two. We also have boys down here taking out their own generators. So doing a bit of damage to Netput's economy. This uh, sort of stuff can become much more important now as armies can get a lot bigger. So you want to make sure um, that you stop their army from getting as big as your army will get. So one of his boys looks like it actually might get away here, whereas uh, the other side won't. Uh, we don't see an early arsenal coming down yet from Bycrush. He doesn't quite have the power, but we can expect that as soon as he gets to 50 power, he will be throwing down that arsenal. Whereas we have a boy's hut and a war tower going down. Still standard, nice same as old, in the uh, middle. And uh, I'm expecting to see a pile of guns soon. But uh, I'm not as certain on orc builds as I have literally only played marine versus marine uh, after the patch. So... Doing a, a very typical early war. Uh, expecting to see... Uh, the boys aren't getting hyped up, interestingly. O often players will hype up the boys while the war is going so they can get them both off at the same time. But he's got the war out. He's got those fancy fireworks flying and now he's going to push out. It looks like he's going to push out down here to group up with these boys and help him uh, fight these marines. The marines actually aren't going for the plasma upgrades yet. Which is, you know, uh, from playing Marine Marine, this is incredibly confusing, but uh, or incredibly un unusual. Uh, however, perhaps versus Orcs, just Marines are enough. It that makes absolute sense. You're not going to get hit by the uh, the enemy having just better versions of the same thing you have. Uh, and he's getting the barracks down, which once again is something that I I would say not to do in Marine versus Marine right now, but. Uh, this is, like I said, my first game seeing against Orcs, so Bike Crush will, will probably know better than me. And he managed to keep all of those Marines alive at that point, which is actually a huge advantage now. Having a big army like this in the last patch would actually make your army really hard to reinforce. But with the uh, extra amount of money that everybody has now, it doesn't uh, become as much of a big deal. So um, I also I also do want to point out, I'm... I'm, I'm I believe I missed it, but uh, there was a bug that was pointed out by um, by uh, uh, <laughs> Trojan in this game. I entirely forgot Trojan's name there for some reason. I could have done the click, but I was like, no, I will remember Trojan's name. He's a, he's a great player. He deserves his name to be remembered. Um, both of these uh, requisition points were made at the same time, uh, and this is a bug that apparently is known. A uh, few players right on the top of that have been using it. Um, it's, 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 it's a pretty big bug. It's not. I wouldn't say it's entirely huge, but it's pretty big. But, um, you know, I don't disapprove of Bike Rush for using it. If there's a bug in the game that you know is there, you know, it's there. It's going to get patched out eventually. 
I'm, it's not the sort of thing that's uh, going to make Bike Rush win that he won't be able to win without. And once it's gone, it's there. So, you know, just make sure people know about it. And uh, Relic will get it done. These guys are actually going to survive again. The Orcs are having to back off. Sort of avoid that. A uh, Plasma Grenade that isn't going to seem to... Or a Vortex Grenade that isn't going to seem to do too much there. Uh, as you can't get a huge amount of flamer hits on there. But they're going to get a generator, actually. That's really annoying. Oh, no, they're not. They're just going to just gonna have to run out. They're getting chased out in time. But we do have some Marines going down here. More Marines getting reinforced at home. The Arsenal is up. So we can start seeing some upgrades coming in soon. Big, big horde of boys. Nothing too techy or anything coming up from the Orcs so far. This point is getting harassed up here. He'll have to go and deal with that soon. This point is going to get taken because it doesn't have anything built on it. And this is one of the reasons why it's important to spread out your uh, generators, you know. If you could just get another generator out on there, that could be a big thing. These oh, uh, marines aren't going to get away. So that is a marine squad that is actually going to... And we're going to get to see the commando for the first time in one of, in one of my videos. Commando sneaking around. He's already put down one of his sneaky little bombs. He's got his stun trap as well, and now he's just slamming these marines with his big old shotgun. The big vortex grenade's gonna slow him down, stop him from being able to push in further. Can we see where he puts grenade there? I don't know. I'm not super knowledgeable about how commando works. As you know, orcs is the faction that I play the least, personally. And I'm a big fan of uh, of the um, the weird boy. I think he's super fun. I've always liked the sort of orc, Warhammer Orc Shaman thing they got going on. Played a Shaman in Warhammer Online back in the day. It's one of my main characters. That that was fun. I have to go and see how the uh, recreation attempts, the hacks of that are going. But um, that's a conversation for another day. I shouldn't I shouldn't get into that during a, a cast. So we have this, uh, as we're seeing a lot now... Uh, in this new meta, these big blobby armies coming around, and actually there, are n there is an upgrade, there's a flamer upgrade, so this is going to be very good against the orcs, this makes a lot of sense to get out versus uh, orcs. Um, overall, you see a lot more plasma going on, but the flamethrower is a big, important piece, and you do have a single assault marine squad here. Now, this is going to be uh, not too useful yet, because we can actually see that the orcs haven't even teched at all, but the reason that you still do get an ASM or two, the idea of it is that you want to disrupt looters with it. Um, I actually think they may have been hit too hard and might not even be really good enough for that. But, um... Oh. Oh. That's carnage. That is carnage. So he hit them with a stun trap and then put down the sneaky. That's pretty crazy. And then he's going to try and uh, finish him off with a shotgun shot, I assume. Or is he just planting some more grenades? Planting some more mines. Hitting some... Uh... I love the spray of that shotgun. It looks great. Commando is a really cool looking hero, to be fair. Like, Good on Relic for making this. And oh, that's a lot of damage as well. Uh, he also, I believe, rushed this as well. He didn't go for the Storm Boys, which is an interesting choice. I'm not sure uh, why you have the Storm Boys if you're not going to go for it. But the the Marines are now starting to pressure around this side as well. They're not going to have a very good time here. They're getting the Flamethrower down, which does hit people through the shields, which is very nice. But the Shooter Boys have arrived. Throwing down some stick bombs. The War Tower is going to keep them up as well. Do you have a listening post up here, which is going to be very annoying for the Orcs. You don't want to have a listening post that close to your base. Uh, but Bike, sticking to his nature and making a lot of listening posts, he does have a, a Servitor down here now, stopping this big commando from just taking free hits at that. But the Assault Marines, oh my lord, they just walk straight into that. Holy moly, this orc does not care about Assault Marines. And this right there is my experience with Assault Marines in this patch, is just like... That, I mean, obviously, they don't die that quickly to a lot of other things, but that is how I feel that Assault Marines do against everything else. So, Scout's here. Not actually going to scare this commando much, but going to get him to back up until his boys arrive, which they are doing right now. This shield generator is looking in some trouble here. Big grenade hit there. 
orc boys on top of the shield generator, able to push the scouts off. The uh, servitor does come in and get it up uh, in time for the marines to come in, but a big stun there hitting off the... The commando hits are big shotguns, but the flamethrower just ripping through some of them there. Was that flamethrower? I'm, I might be entirely wrong, but... A lot going on in this fight now. Uh, it looks like Trojan is just trying to leave some behind here to get this... Uh, Get this shield generator as people have sort of moved over. The flamethrower going off there is going to take out some of those boys in the back and do some damage to these guys. The shotgun here doing some big hits to a load of orcs over here. The rest of the army is coming back in, getting some stick bombs thrown down, getting some grenades on that stick bomb didn't actually go off. And now he missed both the stick bombs. That's quite unfortunate. But he's managed to save both of his heroes from here and get quite a good uh, aggressive front down. But the, uh, the kill team are now coming out again. And this kill team is going to force off this army because this kill team could be very, very powerful. There are some more marines now who have backed off around this side. And that engagement sort of was a bit of a wipe. Both sides losing a lot. But I think it went a lot worse for the orcs because a lot of the marines managed to get saved and come back out here. However, with two flamethrowers and three uh, attack marines, he is now going up against uh, a couple of squads of shooters, uh, I believe. Let's just check. He's got the knobs, the boys, and the shooters. So one at each so far, getting a couple more shooter squads coming out here, grabbing up some scrap, getting ready for the fight. And uh, here you can see how, uh, much, how fast you can reinforce these armies now. The... Uh, I do like the amount of macro that, in a way, they have added to this. Uh, this commando doesn't really want to be running in here. Well, maybe he doesn't care, actually. Maybe he doesn't care. Fair enough. Just going to take half of him out. I mean, he probably, after planting that, should have run away, but... We're going to plant another one. It looks like this guy's just accidentally sort of suiciding here. That doesn't seem too smart. Although, the shield's going to go down, so this could do a lot of damage if that was a explosive grenade, but it doesn't look like it was the mine. So, we have Gabe out. The man Gabriel Angelos, who so many people... Like, honestly, I, I couldn't remember his name. I was happy calling him Ufa. But so many people confused me on Reddit by shortening it to Gabe. And I was thinking, that's not a model of Gabe, no. What the f... That now I remember his name because he's little Gabe. Little Gabe. So the Orcs have finally taken out this uh, side post as well. And I, I believe I was halfway through a point before the uh, commando decided to suicide himself about um i do like that there is more macro but now uh, you do see how the sort of reinforcement mechanics do sort of not quite mesh too well with the amount of macro there is now in the game it's an interesting point about whether it you know whether it will get balanced out in patching or whether it's it's something that just doesn't quite go against each other whether it's a a relic pun intended from uh, the past of uh, this series and the other games made by relic entertainment but this uh, tactical marine isn't having too much fun here. Gabriel Angelos can come with it. We are going to get another attack on the top here, but it doesn't look like much of the rest of the army is here. These uh, stick bombs are going to do some damage to this. And actually, once again, Bike Rush is just going to manage with the skin of his teeth to save some units. And this is uh, really what's going to give him a huge advantage. That's not going to give him a huge advantage, though. That's uh... Uh, Sorry about that. I am, I am back now. There'll be a little jump cut there. I was talking about my boy Angelos, talking about these boys getting caught out here. Big wild going off. I wonder if he's actually going to push with this. It's an interesting thought. These guys still trying to harass this, and this uh, kill team is just absolutely holding this location. They do not want to let this fall fall to the green skin. So we now, now have some uh, upgrades going on over here as well. Um, there's the off of there. We actually haven't had any any upgrades interestingly coming out from bike rush he is entirely just using that to be able to upgrade the flamers which you know is fair enough um we are getting the machine cut down like i uh like i said in the um uh, last uh video from this i did uh, i do think the upgrades are more worthwhile now because you get larger armies so obviously they are affecting uh more times than they used to before but Bike Rush is getting quite a varied army now, although not a huge army. He's he's putting a lot of his resources into getting this machine cult, and so there's going to be a small area here where this um, this orc army will be a lot more powerful and will be able to push really hard, especially now they've got these looters down. Um, Bike Rush gave up with the assault marines after having his first two assault marine squads just absolutely obliterated. Uh, I believe that was the same squad, actually, just getting obliterated twice by the commando. So, Iron Maw are back. Gonna send these uh, these Storm Boys away again. 
But the little boys are now setting up back here. We got some some shooters pushing inwards. We have some knobs back here with some other boys just getting ready up. Interesting that like no trucks are being made anymore. Like orcs now that they can get the horde just don't seem to think it's useful. I mean, I think the trucks are still probably a decent thing to buy, but I don't know. The uh, devastators have come out of the chapel doctrine here. These heavy weapon teams are proving to be incredibly powerful in the the new meta with these big clumps of armies that are sort of more slow moving and just about having them high DPS factors. The devastators will be allowed to sit around for a long time and do what they want, but the knobs really making the difference in this fight. Just sitting up the front is a big tanky force. These Devastators getting absolutely slewn out here and there are just a load of looters from the back still still pounding on shots. The Commando is back waving his shotgun around and uh, a couple of Marines with the kill team have come up here and found a Gretchen but that's all they're finding is a Gretchen over there and uh, the Orcs are going to try and push up onto this high ground and get some damage done. Big stick bomb hit there. The Commando getting some big shotgun hits off and this, this force up on the side here just absolutely goes and now both of Bike Rush's Flamers are gone. They're absolutely wasted. These uh, looters are going to go down while taking out this uh, listening post. That's uh, slightly upsetting, but so will the uh, chapel barracks. And uh, we haven't seen anything come out of here yet, but we can see that there is a dreadnought coming out. Uh, last cannons, luckily, uh, or perhaps smartly, uh, I should say, to be more fair to Bike Rush, uh, coming out in the uh, orbital drop pod, so they will not be cancelled, even though the uh, the doctrine chapel has gone down. Looters are going to finish off this uh, generator, and it looks like he's just backing off for another while and going to get out there again. I'd be surprised not to see him uh, reinforce some of these shooter squads, but he has some tank busters now as well. Interested uh, in whether he, he saw something which made him think that this was necessary, or whether it's just getting to that point of the game. This could just be a game sense thing. Um, bike Rush actually getting falling quite far behind in his uh, macro right now it's not doing very well for him he's got a lot of money stacking up and he's not making tax tax are worth making now they're not just a requisition uh, sink anymore they're entirely worth making he could be making you know tax and scouts right now to get some of that requisition down but he's not whereas on the other side trojan also uh hovering quite a bit of money could be doing a little bit better but um both these players just so intensely trying to fix their armies that their their macro is uh, going down the drain a little bit. This might have been a, a more early game to be fair to these players and they might not have been used to the heavier amount that they're getting. Yeah, these looters actually just straight 1v1ing a marine squad. I'm not sure if they'll manage to come out from that. Uh, Flamethrower is just too good. No micro going on there. But this uh, point is now down. This uh, shield gen. We've got some points going up to the side here. We've got some uh, some of these little squigs. Squig bombs going in here. Actually going to go for that. That's interesting rather than hitting the turret again. Tank busters there. Going to go down to the turret. That's a slight bit of miss micro there. We've got the... Uh, uh, Storm boys hitting there and this army big scary army getting reinforced here at the back can come in either push one of these turrets I mean I would like to see this turret pushed and this building pushed and then maybe he can back off and take the other side uh, with how much resources you get um, in this game now it becomes very dangerous ever to push with only one side down I don't think you can do it uh, which is something that I think does drag out the game an annoying amount and I wish wasn't true oh but these tank busters now getting caught out I mean most of those are scouts but that's still quite a lot this uh, flamer squad is going to get jumped on but the flamethrower does not stop for melee combat these tank busters have to get out of here and it's it's not going super well but it looks like they will survive uh, orcs are starting to make some mechs now and the army is uh, coming down having done some damage but there's just too many scouts in this uh, formation that just aren't really doing the damage that needs to be done. I, I really do think that uh, Bike Rush is missing a lot of tack production that could be on here. He's got six scouts uh, with the one that he's making and he's just not making any more, any more marines. Especially with the tax buffs, I'm not sure having scouts just for damage over marines is good. I mean, a lot of grenades are nice, but... You can make some tacks too, you know, and we have now a death dread coming in. 
Gonna start slicing people up. We've got this huge army over here of shooters with some uh, some tank busters in the back. Kill team going down. Flamethrowers are going out, but they have been pretty much dodged uh, by the orcs. The orcs, uh, the scouts are getting some big stuns down on this clumped army. The army is quite badly clumped. The dreadnought is coming in, but the dreadnought could get hit by a lot of tank buster shots here, and there are some uh, mega nobs coming in as well. Uh, we have armor-piercing melee, actually, so if they can get in there, they can uh, fight this Dreadnought pretty well in melee range. Gabriel Angelos getting some big stuns out, but it is kind of badly caught. The Dreadnought is uh, holding its own, but Bite Crush is going to surrender. So that is a game going the way of Trojan here versus Bite Crush.